If you want to get your over splits, then just follow along to these stretches. To start, stand with your legs apart and then reach down to the ground to do some side lunges. During these, try to push your inner thigh of the straight leg as close to the ground as you can. We are going to do 10 side lunges on each leg. Also, if you can already do an over split, this routine it can also help you get a higher over split. Rotate your hips to face one leg and bend it to go into a lunge. Once you are in your lunge, we are going to do 10 pulses. So for each pulse, try to push your back thigh even closer to the ground. Now we are going to hold the lunge with your elbows on the ground. In this stretch, make sure that your knee is not going past your foot. Now we are going to hold the lunge with your chest up. This is a great stretch for getting over splits because your legs are already in the same position just with the front one bent. You are doing great so far so just keep doing your best with all these stretches and I know you can make it to the end of this routine. You have already started so there's no point in giving up now. Now we are going to repeat the stretches we just did on the other side starting with the 10 lunge pulses. It's totally normal if one leg is more flexible than the other but you should still always stretch both. Also in case you're wondering my yoga mat is from AnnaMcNulty.com which I'll link in the description. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here Now hold as deep of a lunge as you can do with your elbows on the ground. Now go into the lunge with your chest up. For the next stretch, go up into a downward dog. Once you are in your downward dog, we are going to bend each leg 10 times. During this, try to push your heels towards the ground to feel a deep stretch in your hamstrings. Next 
step your hands and feet closer together to do a pike stretch. You should feel this stretch in the backs of your legs similar to the downward dog, but it might be a bit more intense of a stretch. During this, make sure you're keeping your back flat, even if that means you're not getting as close to the ground. Next, place one foot behind the other to do some backwards kicks. Try to kick your leg into as deep of a split as you can. We are going to do 10 kicks. Now lift up your leg the same way you were kicking it and use your arm to pull it into an even deeper split. Don't feel like you have to go as far as I'm demonstrating because I can already do an over split. Just go to the point that you feel a stretch and you can also bend the top leg if you need to. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you you can now lower your leg and then we are going to repeat the backwards kicks on the other side. But I don't know that much about you. What things you like and what you don't, it's not that long. Since I met you for the first time, mm, you know we should work it out. You know we should work it out before I'm too invested. I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions. We are now going to do the backwards leg lift using your arm to pull your leg as far as you can on this side. For the next stretch, we are going to hold a split. In order to do an over split, you should already be able to easily do a split. So if you don't have your splits yet, or you find the splits difficult, I recommend doing my splits routine instead, which I'll link in the description. As you can see, I am placing my arms across my body to make sure that my hips are square. Ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Staying in your split, reach over the front leg for a deeper stretch. your hips to the other side to do the splits on the opposite leg. You can now reach forward on this leg. For the last couple stretches, before we get into the oversplits, you will need to lay on your back. 
Once you are laying on your back, pull one leg as close to your chest as you can. Now repeat that same stretch lifting your other leg. Next, you will need to get an object to try your oversplit on. If this is your first time trying oversplits, I recommend starting off with a small object, like a small stack of books or a yoga block. Then to do the oversplit, go into a lunge with your ankle on the object, then try to straighten out the front leg and let your hips sink towards the ground. It can be helpful to lift up your arms when doing this so you're not holding yourself up. Once you can do a small oversplit all the way down, you can then try to slightly increase the height of your object each time that you follow along to this routine. I'll be 